Hi everyone! In this video I want to show you how to connect to a hosted Valheim server and how to upload your uh, existing world uh, to that server. Valheim is a survival game that you can play solo or up to 10 players. You can play it on your own computer and you can invite friends to join your world. That means you are hosting the world uh, that you are playing in with them. This has its drawbacks, as they will only be able to play on this world if you are online and logged in as well. And of course, if your PC is not strong enough, you might not be able to provide too well, as you may experience lags and disconnections. So the solutions for these problems would be to rent a remote host and upload your existing world to that host. In that case, you and your friends can play independently of each other uh, in the same world even if some of you is not online. I will show you now how this is done. First, you need to download a program, a really small program called FileZilla. It will help you to connect to the host's files, so you can upload the files from your computer to the remote host. The link will be in the description for FileZilla. So the first step would be to choose a remote host for wherever you want your game to be hosted. I was recommended by a friend to use this uh, for NetPlayers um, host, so I will try it out. The, you choose your monthly plan, pay if it needs to be paid, and then you register. And when you finish all that, you end up on this having some kind of this site uh, where the Lightlands is the name of my server, you will have something other there. Uh, so we click on the game server and then we click on the name of the server and uh, we need to be sure that the server is not running uh, because if it is it will not uh, taking the changes in account that we're making, that we plan to make. Next step is to go to the basic configuration and we're going to server settings. Here uh, you can see uh, you can choose uh, whatever you want your server to be named and the server password and as well the world name. So here what is important uh, the server name can be whatever but the world name needs to be exactly the same like you choose a name for the uh, world that is on your local PC. So if it's Lightlands, then it's Lightlands and you need to be very careful if you have uh, caps on or off because every, every, everything is important. It must match. Now you see this num number up here next to the name of your server. It's your uh, server ID number and this is uh, important. Take note of this number. We will uh, need it later. Uh, now let's go to the general uh, tab and uh, to FTP. We scroll here a bit down and here we have an, that info that is important for us uh, because we're going to copy paste that into the program FileZilla that we downloaded earlier. So let's open up FileZilla and here in the top you see empty fields that we need to fill up with this info. The only difference will be we will not in the host name we will not put upload dot fornetplayers.da but saves saves dot fornetplayers.da yes and everything else is same like said here so the username is this number yeah and we put it here in the username field the password is this one and we put it in this field and port is this number, but for me it's 21, for you it might be something else. When we do all that, we uh, click on Quick Connect. Of course, I'm already connected, so nothing will be happen, but if you uh, connect, uh, you, you're going to get this message here. It's successful, if you did everything I told you to do. And now, you see uh, this folder to the right side. This number should match the number I mentioned earlier, uh, that is the 
this here. So uh, this is my number. You're going to have some other number, but it should match th the same number on this uh, in this folder because um, it means we are on the right place where we need to be. This is actually the folder on the remote host where we need to upload our files for our already saved world. So let's uh, open this folder and now we are going to enter config unity iron gate walheim and worlds. In case that you don't have this world folder you need to make it yourself. So you're just going to right click in this field create directory and name it worlds with uh, the exact letters like I used. And then inside of this folder uh, your folder will be empty and you need to copy paste those files from your local PC. And I will show you now where you can find them. Um, let's open this um, um, folder and find our PC, the um, local disk C, and then we go to users, and then the name of your computer, how, however you named it, and then update local low, Iron Gate, Walheim, Worlds, and here it is. So you copy this file, Lightlands, it's a database file, and the lightlands.fwl file, those two. You can directly just uh, select it and drag it into the field here. I already have it there, so I'm not going to do it, but you just drag it here and it will copy it. Cancel. Okay. So maybe this, this, is, this is all we have to do with FileZilla, nothing else. So it's nothing too complicated. Yes? Now we can close Mo Mozilla. Uh, <laughs> Mozilla. Now we can close FileZilla and the last step is to um, connect uh, this host uh, with Steam. So we can enter the game through Steam. And how we do it is, let's open Steam. And here in the top you see View and you go to Servers. And then, I already have added this, but you go to Add a Server. And you need to put here a number. Uh, I'll show you where it is now. It is this number, yes, IP port. So the first number, this here, is the IP, and this is the port, yes. But we add it all together. But the thing is, uh, I saw this advice in some other video on YouTube, and I'm really not sure why is this, but you always need to do a plus one. So it's not going to be 2456, you're going to add 2457. And I did like advice and it worked for me, so I suggest you do the same. Whatever number you have here, the last four numbers, you just add plus one. Yeah. So let's copy this and go back to, uh, to Steam, paste. And so we're going to change the last number from 6 to 7 and click on this button, add this address to favorites and you should uh, now uh, refresh uh, by clicking this button down here and the server should be on the list. Now you all have to do is to click on connect and put in your password. And the game will soon start. I will speed this up a bit. And here I am in my world. And as you can see by the map, everything I had on my local PC is here. When the map is open, I have my points, my waypoints, and it's obviously 
worked out as it should, my files are now on the remote host. I hope I managed to help you somehow and if not, please leave a comment. I will try to do my best to solve your problem. So enjoy the game and have fun. Bye.